Hi guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So in the last episode, we looked at installing Studio One Prime and talked a bit about the unique advantages that it can have for your current situation. Now we want to talk about the music producer who just started out and wants to make his first beat. Let's see how intuitive that is in Studio One. Follow along. All right, guys, Studio One Prime. So back to the basics. Let's talk about what got us into music production in the first place. Let's assume that Studio One is our first music software and we want to make our first beats. How do we go about that? So I just want to show you one quick example of how you can get an idea going without thinking too much of the um, specifics. Okay, so to start, I just click on create a new song like that. And then I have two choices in a free version of Studio One Prime. If I'm a singer-songwriter and I have a microphone and guitar hooked up, the vocal and guitar song template is perfect for that. You literally open it up, press the big red button for record and you're ready to capture your idea. But we're just going to go ahead and select the empty song here. And we can just leave the settings exactly as they are here. We don't have to worry about them too much. So then we just hit OK. And the first thing that we have to think about is the tempo in which we want to write our song. Okay. So usually you would enter this tempo in a value, like a number, like say 126 BPM, 128 BPM. But especially when you're a beginner, that's such an arbitrary concept, right? Yeah, you can imagine how quick 126 beats per minute are, but how does that translate into the musical feel? That's very hard to judge for a beginner. So what I really prefer doing is to just tap my tempo. And I'm going to show you how. Like, for example, I have some kind of synth wave idea in my head and I just go ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da da Basically, I just um, hit my mouse four times while being on this uh, tempo, tap tempo button. And it got me 89 BPM back. So let's see how fast 89 BPM actually is in context. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit too slow. Let's try maybe something like that. Yeah, that's more like it. Now I can start making my song. So I have this clean slate here. As you can see, this template doesn't really prepare anything for us, but Studio One Prime comes with more than one gigabyte of samples. So all these genres that you see here are actually folders that contain loops that get you going right away. And then you can just start auditioning what you like. The song tempo will actually adapt when I just type in a new value here. Like now it's going to play much faster. I can also tap a new tempo. That sounds kind of good. Let's try with 110 BPM now. So we just do four bars today. And I want to have something that comes in after maybe two bars. That's also really nice for the second half. It's great that I can audition everything side by side with the browser. That's super useful. It was literally just a minute of dragging and dropping and it's already sounding very, very solid. So now I want to record a bass line on top and for that I don't want to use a loop. So how would I go about that? Well, there's also the Instruments tab, as you can see in Studio One Prime. And there you find the Presence XT, which is our sample player, very powerful and um, taken from the Bigger Brothers Studio One Artist and Studio One Professional. Also comes with a high variety of presets and they're just going to go for a bass that sounds kind of like the genre in which I'm currently in. So let's try Analog Planet. And notice how I'm just dragging into an empty space. I don't have to drag like all the way over to an instrument track like I do in other DOS. I just drag into the empty space. So let's listen to the sound. Oh, that's, that's probably very nice in the mix. So let's try it out. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let me try and record another lead sound on top or maybe some strings, 
some strings. That sounds lovely. Some uh, synthetic strings would be amazing. So let's try out let's try out the lush strings. How about that? Ah, perfect. Okay, let's give that a go. I think this could be nice. Let's just go for it. Yeah, and that's how quickly you can make a really interesting and nice beat in Studio One Prime. So this took us like less than 10 minutes and was super fun to do. You should definitely try it out for yourself. All right, guys, that's from me and I'll see you next time.